I'm uh, Marianne Gerwing. I'm from Chemainus, originally from Saskatchewan, where I was born and uh, took my university. I've done everything from watercolor to acrylics to drawing to... And then I hit the jackpot when I met uh, the Blue Wave studio in Nanaimo and uh, I became uh, very close with it and I've gone into printmaking. I began with collagraph and a collagraph, a collet in French, and it's actually a Greek word as well, which means to paste, as you know, you're grade nine French. So graphic, you make a, you make a, you have a plate and on this plate, you actually paste down your design. If you want to paste down a bird, you'd have to cut out a bird and you'd have to take another sheet of paper and then you have to paste it down. After collagraph, you can do lino cutting, which I think many would be familiar with lino cutting. And then there's also um, a dry point, which is a very simple thing to do. You can do it on cardboard. You can do it on your cornflakes box if you needed to or if you wanted to. There are many ways that you can do this. And uh, uh, then after dry point, I've, we've done uh, lino cutting and we've done uh, etching and we've done um, uh, monoprint. Monoprint is like painting without a brush. It's like pa painting with and if you look at my work, you're going to see my, um, my organic work on monoprint. Uh, the collagraph, the, the fishes are the collagraph. The etching are some of the other, um, the flowers and things that's etching. You just don't know how it's going to turn out, number one. At the beginning of your career in printmaking, you'd probably stand in fear and trepidation. As you progress, you begin to realize, oh, if I do this on my plate, oh, if I use that color, oh, I can get perspective. Oh, look at that. So I can bring the, the viewer right into the back of my printmaking and he's just, all of a sudden he says, oh, I'm right at the front of, my print, of, of this print. What happened? That is the effect of color. And these, and also spacing and layering. Layering, layering. You can put your paper through a press 10, 15 times, depending a lot on what kind of paper you use. You know, the, the softer your paper, the more absorbent it becomes. And the, the joy of it is simply uh, pulling it off the press and it's the great reveal. And it is thinking, my goodness, I just didn't, I, I, no, I wouldn't have believed it. It, it, it's, it, it is advisable because um, suddenly you are having to work with the press and you, you'll have to learn pressure. You have to learn how a press itself operates itself. And, uh, there, and also the inks and the color mixing of inks. Uh, very, very important. Uh, I think that color mixing is, um, probably in my mind the number one because if you get beautiful colors like I hope I can be able to show in my work I think that people would say gee I wonder how she got that color yeah. if I have ever hear that I will be really happy well I'm looking forward to the time where I can um, tell a story that is enigmatic and uh, that the viewer will really step back and look more than once or if I see anybody going around the room, let's say in a show and coming back to mine, that's epic for me. And uh, yes, purchasing, okay, but I don't do work to, to sell. I will sell, I will show if somebody wants to buy it, that's fine by me, you know. One thing about this kind of, like in the printmaking, there's so much more to know and uh, some of my, my um, workshops, which I have attended, have really paid close attention. One or two of them talked about the muse, about opening your muse. Now, what does opening your muse mean? It's the most difficult thing that I have ever done. Because first of all, believing in yourself that you even have a muse, and then fostering it and feeding it and uh, leaving it go, spreading it, is what I really have enjoyed. I hope that people who come into that wonderful rainforest gallery uh, would be, uh, I don't know, just be able to somehow appreciate what this community is giving to people, whether they are in the community or whether they are tourists from abroad or nearby, that they really say, my goodness, this is taking place right here in this little community. What a wonderful place.